What's going on, Swing Traders? So we got another pharmaceutical company coming up, uh, VNDA. We're going to do this for a little bit of a swing trade. And don't forget to smash the likes if you want me to keep doing these swing trade videos. And if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and make sure to hit that bell. You don't want to miss these swing trades. My mouth is dry. Let's get right into it. So you can see here, VNDA has what looks to be three drugs going through some phases. But the one that caught my eye was the jet lag one here. Why did it catch my eye? Yes, you're right. It's going for the last bar. I like these ones going for the last bar. So the PDUFA is going to be on August 16th. And if you're new to this, August 16th is kind of far away. But these stocks normally run up way before the actual date. And that's where we're going to be making our money. But with this stock, if it goes up, I might sell a little bit, but I also might keep it because I kind of like this stock and I'll tell you why. So Vanda Pharmaceuticals has a flawless balance sheet, as you can see right here. And as of right now, the company has no debt on its balance sheet. So this is very good because it gives the company some room so they can grow. And if they want to add on debt, they can. So this is a good stock, not only for a swing trade, but a long-term investment as well. Uh. Shares afloat, 51 million. Not bad. Target price, I'm liking this, $29. Hmm. Here's a look at Vanda Pharmaceuticals website. This is the website for VNDA. And from what it looks like, it's a pretty just generic kind of a website. Nothing really special to look at or anything. Just some recent news and all that stuff. But I do believe this is the jet lag one right here, Hella Telos. This drug sounds really fascinating to me though, because I would love to get rid of jet lag because that's the main thing when you go on vacation, you know, you're, you have jet lag for two to three days and you're trying to get your mind right. This will just get rid of it from what it seems like. Just got to make sure you don't want to fall in love with this company and this stock. You're in it to make money. All right, got the chart pulled up here. The high was 33.44, low was 13, and we are at 13.43 right now. I actually bought this stock today at 13.45, so I am already in this swing trade. And if you look at it right here, it is kind of on a downward motion, downward pattern right here. But we are on support level right here. And this is why I bought it because you can see it tested it a couple times here. And now it's just starting to kind of go sideways. I just really like this setup a lot because this is what happened with the other one that I was in. And that one just popped out of nowhere. And this kind of looks like the same kind of a setup for it. But anyways, today you got two big red candlesticks. It's just a little bit under support, but I think it's going to bounce back off of it. And don't forget, we got the approval coming next month. And I think we're going to be having a big pop coming up probably in about three to four weeks. And I think today was a good day to buy because it was a red day. That's when I like to buy stocks. So you guys heard it. I'm already in this stock. So this swing trade might take a little bit longer, but I think I got in at a really good price. Get a little bit of a bounce and maybe start a reversal to the upside. All right, everybody. Good luck on your swing trades. And just like to remind you to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Come on, guys. Let's make some money. Come on.